Hello and welcome. If you have an older 32-bit PC sitting in a closet, it's not obsolete yet. Today, we'll explore five Linux distributions that continue to support 32-bit x86 hardware as of June 2025. Most major distributions dropped 32-bit builds years ago, but these options still give your legacy machine a modern, usable experience. First up is uh, Debian. Debian remains one of the most reliable choices for 32-bit systems. During installation, you can pick from GNOME, KDE Plasma, XFCE, LXQT, or Mate. For older hardware, I recommend the Mate or LXQT editions. Both offer a familiar desktop experience without demanding too much CPU or GPU power. You can also opt for a minimal, non-graphical install and run Debian as a home server, controlled entirely via SSH. While Debian's default installer has many steps and questions, once complete, you'll have a stable, secure system. If you want faster moving packages, try Debian Unstable, but for most users, the stable branch works uh, perfectly. To get started, download the 32-bit PC DVD-1 ISO or the 32-bit PC NetInst ISO from Debian's official downloads page. Next is Linux Mint Debian Edition or uh, LMDE. If you admire Linux Mint's user-friendly design but need 32-bit support, LMDE is the answer. It swaps Ubuntu's base for Debian while retaining Mint's familiar Cinnamon desktop. Expect a Windows-style taskbar, an app launcher, and a collection of polished custom tools. The software manager makes it simple to find applications and games. Just be sure to download the 32-bit ISO from Mint's website. For anyone new to Linux, LMDE offers a gentle learning curve on older hardware. Our third pick is MX Linux XFCE. MX Linux is another Debian derivative that comes ready to go with the lightweight XFCE desktop. This build balances modern features with fast performance on older CPUs. MX tools give you quick access to common system functions and the MX package manager simplifies software installation. You can also use APT, FlatHub or Snap whenever a developer still provides 32-bit packages. If you want even more speed, the Fluxbox edition is worth exploring. To install, grab the 386 ISO from MX Linux's download page. In my tests, MX Linux XFCE felt quick and responsive, even on machines with just half a gigabyte of RAM. Fourth on the list is Antex. Antex is a system-free distribution designed specifically for lightweight performance. It can run on as little as 256 megabytes of RAM, and needs just under 3 gigabytes of disk space. During setup, you'll get a simple, straightforward process that works well for both beginners and experienced users. The desktop environments include IceWM, Fluxbox, and JWM, all of which consume minimal resources. Antix's focus on speed makes it perfect for Pentium 3 error systems. Download the latest stable branch ISO from Antix's site and follow the installer prompts. Within minutes, you'll have a lean, fast desktop ready for basic browsing, document editing, or file serving. Finally, we have Sparky Linux. Sparky's XFCE edition is tailored for beginners who need a lightweight, customizable environment. It offers multiple editions, including a minimal GUI build if you only need core functionality. For full desktop use, the XFCE version requires around 512 megabytes of RAM and a Pentium 4 CPU. If you want a true minimal install, the CLI edition runs with just 128 megabytes of RAM and 2 gigabytes of disk space, but you'll build your own desktop on top. Sparky also provides LXDE and LXQT editions for slightly higher specs. To get started, choose a 32-bit ISO from Sparky Linux's download page and follow the straightforward installer. Once installed, you'll enjoy a nimble desktop that feels surprisingly modern, even on decade-old hardware. That covers the five best Linux distributions that still support 32-bit PCs as of June 2025. Debian, Linux Mint, Debian Edition, MX Linux XFCE, Antix, and Sparky Linux. Each one provides a lightweight, stable desktop environment that breathes new life into machines that Windows and most modern Linux distros have left behind. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and subscribe for more Linux tips and distro reviews. Thanks for watching and see you next time.